let's see if it goes, okay? Because I don't know. What's up, everybody? It's me, Erica Honey. We are down here to um to talk about Bell Collective. I'm trying to keep it cool, honey, because it's hot. I hope the camera doesn't die because it's right in the sun, the sunlight. It's right in the sunlight. So we'll see. We'll see because the camera will get hot. But I have something protecting it. So we'll see. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know you stopped by, okay? Um, they start off where they left off. They're at Soguchi's um, daughter, stepdaughter. Stepdaughter? Yeah, that's not her daughter. Yeah, stepdaughter's um, baby shower. Everybody's there. She's outside talking to Latrice about, you know, the situation with the... Um, real estate. She went with another real estate agent and closed on a property. So Gucci said, you know, I feel I just have to back up. I have to back off you a little bit because that was foul. Um, Latrice said it wasn't shady or malicious, uh, what she was doing. Um, and she was like, girl, I was just wondering if you were the damn snake that Marie was calling you. Girl, when Marie, I'll tell you when Marie got Glenn's ass together, bitch, that, <laughs> that exchange. Okay. He, girl, that exchange was so funny to me. I was hollering. I was hollering the way. And then when, when Glenn left out of the door, Marie said, clown. <laughs> I said, yes, call him a clown. Cause he is clown with them chains and shit on his shit. Girl. And then the, let me tell you something before we get into it. I just want to say this, like, we're just talking about this show. This lady, Latrice, she's not going to leave her husband. She's not going to leave her husband. She's not going to leave her husband. I don't think Letitia is going to leave Glenn. And she says she's afraid to leave Glenn because of his abandonment issues. And his abandonment issues are so severe. Yes, that's who I was talking about. I said at the end of the Real Housewives of Atlanta review, I was talking about somebody else who needed counseling and Glenn needs counseling. I feel like Glenn and Letitia need to go in counseling in order to break up. That's how I feel. Because if you love your family so much, Glenn, that you don't want your family to go away from you, then you need to modify the behaviors that is causing that. Right. And you don't you can't seem to do that. You seem to want to be seen. You seem to want to talk to these women to see if you still got it. You want to do that. And you cannot be attached to Letitia. But Letitia says she fears leaving him because he has abandonment issues. And let me tell you something. I'm going to get on Glenn about sending them cameras in there to see his grandmother and didn't give her a chance to put her good wig on. Why are you in here with these cameras and I'm in the bed like this, not feeling well, girl, you better get out of here. Glenn and Letitia need to go to a counselor so Glenn can learn how to separate from Letitia. Letitia wants to buy her a condo. She's getting a condo. They're going to put it in Marie's name. Um, and he's been tracking her and listening to her conversations. And he really had the audacity to come up to the house as they were closing and signing the lease or whatever. Anyways, we'll come back to that. Aikisha goes and visits Joshua. Joshi, they keep calling him Joshi, Joshua. They keep, they, she goes up there. She says she's been coming to him for five years. So they sit down. He, she's going to get her makeup done or something. She has an event to go to. Um, she tells him a little bit about Ferris Street. She's going to be the first woman developer, something in the area. He says, well, you know, with the right, she asked him, how, how's it going with you? And he was like, you know, with the water crisis, I've been staying with Latrice. And since I've been staying with her, it's a lot of things that I don't really like that I'm seeing, especially the way that her and Cliff deal with each other. I don't like it. I don't like the way he treats her. It's a no for me. Um, they're not even sleeping in the same room. Now, I don't know if that is any of like, the way that he could have shared with Aikisha, he could have shared how he feels. He doesn't, I feel like he, the details of why he feels or how he got to these feelings about Cliff and Latrice, he should not have shared with Aikisha. Aikisha does not need to know that Latrice is sleeping in another room. Um, right. Okay. Um, 
he was listening outside the door when I have conversations with her like that. I feel like, I feel like he can share that because it's like, it's weird. Like his behavior, behavior is weird. Um, he tracks her location. Akeisha said, if I, if I get to the point with Willie, she said, Willie, his name is Willie. If I get to the point with Willie, where we tracking each other, that shit is crazy to me. I understand having each other's locations, but you like really like trying to figure out where somebody is and showing up to where they are. That's, that's a little weird. He says that Cliff cussed him out when the cameras went down. Um, and threatened his job. And that's why Josh asked um, Latrice, is my job okay? Um, with a woman like Latrice, I think that um, Aikisha gave him good advice. Uh, if what did, what did she do when you said, you know, whatever it is that you told her? Nothing. She didn't do anything. So, okay, you now know that you need to have a plan B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. You need to have a backup plan because... She, whether she says I'm my own woman, I walk in my own shoes. This man seems to have a level of control and influence on her to where she will make decisions based on something he said. And if he says, get rid of Josh, Joshy, Joshua, get rid of him. You will contemplate and contemplate and cry and weep and get rid of Joshua. So Joshua, you need to have a backup plan because if he decides, you know, I can't wait to see how they're going to tackle this at the reunion because they wouldn't even answer the producer's questions. I'm not going to um, elevate my blood pressure for Letitia or uh, what's the name? Latrice, because I don't see them leaving those men. I just don't. I don't I don't I don't see it. I don't see them pulling a Melody Cherie and finally leaving. OK. Um, you need to let her marriage be. And he did. He said, you know, I told her that I don't want to have anything to do with it or whatever. And he should keep it like that. He should keep it like that. If she come to you venting about something Cliff did, be like, wow, that's crazy. That's how you got to do it. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, for real? Wow. What you going to do, girl? Do what's best for you. That's what you got to tell her. Do what's best for you. Why they venting and doing all that stuff? That's all you can do because you know she's not going anywhere. I guess he's going to have to do something outside of the abuse that he's inflicting on her. Maybe. So some people won't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when she's going to, you know, I feel like I feel like something in my in my in my soul is telling me Latrice is going to get pregnant with him. I feel like Latrice is pregnant. Is Latrice pregnant? I don't follow her on Instagram or anything like that, but I feel like a baby is going to come soon from this. I feel like, have they been showing clips and stuff? I don't know. I feel like she's going to come to the reunion pregnant. Yep. I feel like she's just, when when it comes to her relationship with Cliff, I feel like it's just going to be one disappointment after another with the way that she is uh, uh, showing up to the relationship. I think it's just going to be like one disappointing you know, um, as a woman, I'm disappointed in that choice that you did as a woman, like, girl, what are you doing? And it's not like the signs aren't there. It's, oh, we got stuff to work on. Well, that old ass dog is not going to want to work on anything. Like next week he tells her, um, she says, aren't we equal? He said, no. So it is what it is. That's what y'all, y'all want these, these mature men and as young women and all they're doing is looking for someone to control if you're foolish enough to want to play you you foolish enough to want to play this traditional game where you want to be protected and provided for and get your own money have your own money have everything you a boss bitch but in this relationship you a weak bitch but you got to be oh it's not weak it's not weak it's submission no girl he don't even think y'all equal. Ask your partner, your 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 head of household, are we equals? Letitia um goes La, Latrice goes over to Letitia Enterprises and because she has an event coming up and she wants to work on her public speaking. Um there's a self-care brunch and so she's practicing. Alexis was in the back laughing. 
there's a receptionist for Letitia. Mm -hmm. uh, feels like she wants to tell her story. This is Latrice saying she wants to tell her story. Um, yeah, once you get up there and if it like Letitia told her, if it's your lane, if it's your thing to talk about, you don't really have to practice. Just feel comfortable talking about the thing you're talking about and look directly over everybody's head. You don't even got to look at people. If you're that nervous until you get more comfortable, look directly over people's head from this way to this way and talk your shit. Talk about what you know. And it'll just come to you. It will. If you're talking about something you know and you're passionate about, like your hair and you know your business and being an entrepreneur and da da da, it'll come. It'll come. Um, so I felt like she gave her some good advice. She asked, um, Latrice asked Letitia, "What's the hold that um, Glendale has on you? What's the hold he has on you? Yikes! What's the hold he has on you?" She said, "Fear." Um, he's not going to allow her to move on in peace. That's that's is dangerous to me. And when they say that, you know, black women die at the rates that BV rates, when the man doesn't want you to leave, then that's dangerous. She says it, he won't give me peace. And the fact that he walked up in that thing like that, that was crazy. That was crazy. And it's men who will do that. That's why this girl on the internet the other day was talking about, I never see men down bad after a breakup. I always see women going through it after a breakup. No, these niggas be killing women after breakups. Okay. They'll kill you for not even, you don't even get to the point where you in a relationship. They kill you if you don't give them the phone number to even start a relationship. Okay. Push you on some damn um, subway tracks, hit you in the face with a skateboard, asking for your number. You can't even get into the relationship. Then when you get into the relationship, they got abandonment issues. So they don't want you to leave to the point where they'll kill you and themselves. Girl, no, that for her to say that he's not going to give me peace if I leave him like Martel constantly terrorizing Melody because she left him. She was not supposed to leave. She was supposed to allow him to have all his extramarital affairs while she sit up there with four kids and, and, and just be looking and smiling like she was doing the first season, trying to smile her way through it. Traditional men, right? They want their, the world is, they are the center of the world. When you're a traditional woman and this is the man and the man is the man is the man. They're the center of everything. And when you're a modern woman, meaning that you are yourself is the center of that. They're no longer the center. My my relationship with you is not of one of necessity. It's one because I want to be there. And you niggas have the worst attitudes that people don't stick around for the worst attitudes, especially when they don't need them. I don't need you. You are supposed to be a nice to have around and your attitude. You have the worst attitude. You want to act like you want to cheat. You can be single, nigga. You want to be controlling. You want to be possessive. You want to be an old ass nigga like Cliff with insecurities. You old ass granddaddy ass and you still have insecurities to where you got to follow her around. That shit is sickening. Can you imagine if they needed those men? If they didn't have the means to get up and get their own condos, I'm out of here. I don't have to stay here. But y'all want to play these traditional roles. You want to play a, You want to play a role in a time where women could not just get up and leave. These women can get up and leave and then y'all choosing to stay in these weird ass, jive ass, fucked up relationships. You choosing to stay there because you don't need that man. You don't. You got your own shit. You got your own shit. They expect us to sit at the house. They can't take modern women. She admitted to having sex with um, Glenn after the reunion. She said, yeah, y'all got a little liquor. She said, I wasn't that goddamn drunk. I told his ass to put on a condom. I know that's right. You know, I don't have to, what she said, I don't have to lie about it like Tambra. So Tambra, that's the word on the street. You getting a label as, as a liar, girl. They should call you Tattletale Tambra. Tell a tale. Tell a tale, Tambra. She will tell a lie, honey. And for no reason. That's a dangerous bitch. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I tell the truth about mine. 
Tamara didn't want Aikisha in the group text. Just say you didn't want her in the group text, Tamara. That's not going to say nothing. Nobody's going to think you're like stained for not liking someone because you all about women's empowerment. Just because you're all about women's empowerment doesn't mean that you have to like every woman. I don't have to like you, bitch. If I if I'm if I'm empowering women in the next at the next brunch, I don't have to like you because you're a woman. What the hell? I can say I don't want it in the group text. Tamara, stop lying. That is so. And it's like ah, all that all that talking and shit, girl. Tamara and Marie, and Marie go out to lunch. Marie tells Tamara, you know, everybody thinks you lie. Basically, you 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 like to skirt around questions. You go around questions, you manipulate the situation, you don't answer the questions, you're not transparent. She says, I don't know what it is. I have built a reputation on character and integrity. How many people are having this experience of you, Tambra, for it to not be the truth? There's some truth in it. If you have Marie, you got Letitia, you got, oh, they call her West Side Tam. That was funny. West Side Tam. You got all these people saying they feel like you're not honest. You don't show up authentically. You're not showing up authentically. And you feel like I'm for women empowerment that it puts a force field over you. And then now I could not have done that. Why would I have said that? Why would I have not wanted um, Aikisha in the group text? You was mad at Aikisha because Aikisha went back and tried to say that you told them that the girls were ugly. We ain't forgot, Tambra. Why the girls ugly? She could. She said y'all was ugly. Did she? Are you putting two on ten? And then you can't even. You don't even have the pussy to say I'm putting two on ten. Girl, I was just exaggerating. She did. They. She really didn't call y'all ugly. She didn't use the word ugly. Um, I have a rapport with an audience unlike Marie. I've never heard that I was a liar, girl. Whatever. I feel like I've never, I never said that. You said you didn't want Aikisha in the group text. Don't put me, you didn't say you didn't want Aikisha in the group text, but you said, don't put me in the group text with Aikisha. I don't want to be in the group text with Aikisha. Don't put her in the group text with Aikisha. So you said it, you want to exclude yourself if she was in there or exclude her if you were going to be in there. Okay. West side Tam, what's up with your long-term relationships? Um, she says all of her relationships have been long term. Um, Marie shows something on her screen. I guess Tambra, some man that Tambra, Tambra was dealing with, sent Marie a picture of them. How he has Marie's number, I don't know. Maybe it's in the um, IG. Um, she says she she has not been engaged. She's been proposed to, but she hasn't been engaged. Um, what about this other guy? I guess he proposed too soon. Um, but she says, yeah, I've been proposed to, but not engaged. Right. So she's not, Tambra does not want to be married. Tambra does not want to have children. This is the part of you showing up and being transparent, but you feel like, I don't know, maybe cause you in the South and it, you know, it's a, it's something wrong with the, a Southern traditional woman saying, I don't want a fucking husband and I don't want any kids. It's okay. Aikisha and Latrice go on a play date. Um, She asks her, do you want children? You know, Latrice is there with her grandchildren, with with, um, granddaddy's grandchildren, child. And you call him daddy. Oh, my God. You got to stop that right now. I went to Latrice's page a few days ago and there was a post of her and Cliff and she was calling him hubby. So I noticed that it was no references to Zaddy there. Um, I think she needs to grow out of that. I think it's time to mature out of that. Um, Somebody else would mention um, Heavenly is another one who calls her husband daddy. Y'all do it to stroke their egos, but it's incestuous. That's, that's just what it is. It's incestuous. It's disgusting. It's gross. I don't give a damn how you frame it. It's incestuous to call the man that you are letting put his penis in you daddy for his ego. And, and, and I would ask him, why do you want to be called daddy? You sick fuck. Why are you okay with that? 
if you try to call a nigga daddy and he's like, dude, don't call me that. That's weird that he's cool. <laughs> nigga, don't call me that. Do not call me daddy. I am not your daddy. Especially if we doing it, girl, get out of here. Is it the husband that you don't want? You don't want children or is the person who you want to, who's going to be the father of the children, the husband? She was like, no, you know, girl, whatever. It's him. You don't want to have, you definitely don't want to have, you think he's controlling now? Have a baby, have his baby. Okay. And see what happens. There's so many women who they, you know, they talk about women trapping men with babies, but have a baby with a controlling man you're you'll feel like this nigga trapped you okay um latrice is upset that joshy you know she i went over i went to goddess links the other day and you know i had a conversation with josh and latrice was like i don't appreciate him telling my business basically i I, you know i agree with her i don't tell the details because the way that aikisha was asking questions it was like well what do you know basically right and she says well you know he just feels like he's defending you um, and you know, there's certain boundaries that Joshua doesn't have. It's funny how, you know, what boundaries Joshua needs to have, but you don't know what boundaries your husband needs to have. It's so funny how we will hold our friends to a higher standard than we hold our partner. They do one thing to you and it's like, cut them off. Oh, we got to talk. We got to this. You upset, you offended. You're offended by me being upset by witnessing you being mistreated and I shared it with somebody else, you mad and you telling me I need boundaries, girl. (laughs) Okay, Latrice. Okay, Latrice. Mm -mm -mm. So she's going to have a wig launch. Who's having a wig launch? Latrice is going to have a wig launch and she invites Aikisha to that. Tambra was sitting there with Damon. I think they were eating. Um, They went out to eat. Damon, 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 girl, I don't know. She's going to have a podcast. Is the, is the mic off? I think that's a cute name. She says, it's, you know, literally she wants to be able to talk about things they can't talk about on the radio, on air. So is this mic off? Um, Damon wants to know if he's going to be a part of it. I'm with Tamara, girl. Why would you think you're going to be a part of it? Now, maybe if we have some relationship conversations, you can come and guess and be a guest. But that's about it. You can be a guest. You ain't going to be a part of nothing. Girl, no. What's going on with your cat cave? That's a cute name. Little cat cave. You used to call them the honeycomb hideout, honey. It's a honeycomb hideout. But okay, the cat cave is cute. Um... You know, what's going on with that? She's like, I need my own space. You know, you bribed me to move in with you. She, again, Tambra, why are you doing this? Why are you living with Damon? That's so crazy to me. Why did you move out and move and move in with him? I need to know. I need Tambra to answer. Why did you move out of your place and move in with Damon? And then now you want another place because y'all two in close quarters. He, You're not engaged. He's talking about, we have some things. You don't feel like you're a priority. Why are you, why did you move? I want to know, Tambra, somebody to ask Tambra, why did you move out of your house and move in with Damon? No ring. At least if you, if you're going to have your little standards and you're going to fake like you have some standards, at least be engaged and then move in. Damn. Anyway. Um, so Gucci, Leticia and Marie are at this condo, might've been a condo or something like that. Um, signing papers for Leticia. Leticia is leaving with her and Joshua. They are getting their own place away from, um, Glendale. I keep, I get, I get Cliff and Glenn mixed up. You know who I'm talking about. Um, and she needs to get away from him and, and, you know, she's going to, she's going to live in her place or whatever. And, uh, but Marie is going to sign the lease. So they are in these relationships where they have to be, um, deceptive. Like when you're, when you get to a point where you're going to, you like hi- kind of have to hide stuff from this nigga, you can't, you're not being transparent. Like, you know, it's always don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. But in real life, if you're moving, you are moving out and you're moving away from this man, but you need your home girl to sign the lease because we don't need him to know anything. And he has a tracking on your car and a tracking on your phone, I believe, and has been recording your conversations. That's what I mean. He has too much time on his hands. You're just driving around, 
Jackson listening to Letitia on her phone conversations. What are you doing, nigga? Like, ugh. There's no way. And and nothing about it is cute. Nothing about it is admirable or honorable. Nothing about it says, oh, he wants his family. He wants to be in control. And then when you say, or you, you want to leave, oh, I have abandonment issues. If you have abandonment issues, both of you need to go to therapy so you can learn how to be without her and, and break up. Because if you have abandonment issues and you don't want your family to go nowhere, then you will stop doing the things that make your family leave you. You will stop it. You will stop being a fuck nigga and have your family at home. You will represent your wife in the right way. You have her out here looking like a fucking clown. That the clown you are. When Marie told his ass to go to Walmart and get a toy, bitch, (laughs) you need to find something to play with because you got too much time on your hand following people around and recording the conversations, my nigga. It's real. Glenn shows up. They get up and run away like, what are you doing here? She even had to show, she's like, why are you stalking her? She had to show him the paper, this is my house. He was like, no, I've been recording you. Worry about the married man you got. <laughs> Marie's face was like, what? Like, wh- what you know? Because Letitia done told him something that he should know. And he's letting her know that we still close and we still have our pillow talk. And I know you fucking with a married man. Basically, that's what it sounded like to me. That's what it sounded like to me when he kept saying it. Because Letitia was like, Glenn, stop saying that. <laughs> Marie, Marie, um, they go outside because Glenn walks up to the door. He walks in. She goes outside. She goes, you need to stop. You need to stop doing this, this and that. You trying to leave? You trying to take my son? You trying to do da 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 No, you are behaving in a way that doesn't make, doesn't make you nice to have around. I don't need you around. And you are acting in a, in a way that makes you not nice to have around. So I don't want to be around you. And since I'm the primary caregiver, because you act like you need to drive around Jackson all day and listen to Letitia's com- phone conversations, you're not washing Joshua and you're not taking care of him. So I'm the primary caregiver. So he's coming with me. And that's it. You need to look, you need to put that little piece in your pants on ice. She goes outside with Marie. He, they still there arguing. So Gucci tells um, uh, Marie Monroe, she tells Marie, oh, this is your place, right? You the name on the lease. You can tell him to leave. She can't tell him to leave, but you can tell him to leave. So they walk to the door. They're, the, the teacher's outside with uh, Glenn, you know, trying to reason with his weird ass. And then she says, come inside. Marita, <laughs> Marie tells her, come inside, come inside, come inside the house. Glenn, you need to leave. You need to leave, Glenn. You need to leave. You need to leave. Come inside. And then she she act like she's getting ready to go inside. And she said, like I said, come inside. He was like, what you mean? What you mean, like I said? What you mean, like I said? You need to mind your own business, Marie. said, she in here, ain't she? Ha <laughs> ha, bitch. I said, come on, bitch. She in here, right? Because Letitia didn't want the teacher walked past Marie and went into the house. She in here, right? You see where she is? She in the house. So go on and go off. Go to Walmart. Get yourself a little toy or something. Go find you something to play with, Glenn. But get up, get up out of here. That's I said, like, you gotta let you got I said, Maria, let his ass have you gotta let these niggas have it. I don't care. I don't care. Get your ass up out of here. Acting like a damn fool. Clown. I said, yes, get him, get him, Marie. Marie said, why are you stalking her? Why are you stalking her? She told him to go find a toy he can play with, go to Walmart and get you a little toy. You know, you take your grandkids to Walmart so they can get them a little toy. <laughs> get your ass out of here with all them chains around your neck, nigga. Why don't you go drive up and down the damn boulevard that you've been doing all day? You so, that that's the part I don't like. You want to act like you this man. You want all the ladies to see you. But then the woman that you're with is like, dude, I don't have to deal with this. I don't even want you around me acting like this. I have a a name and a reputation, okay? Like Tambra was talking about earlier. I got a reputation. I'm a businesswoman. I'm a boss bitch. I cannot have a nigga next to me who's disrespecting me by talking to other women. You have me, you have me out here looking stupid without me even really knowing, but you out here playing games. Driving them around, wanting to be seen, chains around your neck like you fucking 23 years old. Get the fuck up out of here. 
Go find you a toy to play with, clown. Yes. I said, Marie, get his ass. You see she in here, right? I said, yes. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, take care of each other. Let me know what you think of the episode. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Let's get down in the comments. Peace.